a very good morning to all here this is hardik a hardik and us today we will discuss about the class 8 one of the finest chapter that is the statistics statistics is the part of the data handling generally exams mein statistics ke do se teen questions hote hain agar yahan pe statistics ki terms jo hai jitni bhi terms statistics mein aati hai agar basic concept clear hai That means आप बहुत ही आसानी से सारे के सारे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर सकते हो मैं यहाँ पे स्टेटिस्टिक्स को दो पार्ट में डिवाइड कर रहा हूँ फर्स्ट पार्ट में मैं आपको ईच एंड एवरी बेजिक कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज रिलेटेड टू द टर्म्स सारे के सारे डिस्कस करूंगा देन आफ्टर ऑल उनके रिलेटेड थोड़े से प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करेंगे हम लोग एंड द सेकेंड पार्ट में स्टेटिस्टिक्स को कैसे ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन किया जाता है By using the pie chart or a bar graph, वो दोनों हम लोग पार्ट टू में डिस्कस करने वाले हैं आज का वीडियो देखने के बाद मैं इतना शुरू दे सकता हूँ कि स्टेटिस्टिक्स में आने वाले हर एक क्वेश्चन आप विद इन फ्रिक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड में सॉल्व कर पाओगे लेट स्टार्ट वट इज द एग्जैक्टली मीनिंग ऑफ द डेटा द वर्ड डेटा मीन्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन in the form of the numerical figures or a set of the given fact let us take the example the marks obtained by the 10 students of the class in a monthly test are 21 26 30 17 41 12 26 45 17 and 30 so here we can see that the marks obtained by the 10 students of a class clearly the above set of the figures is the data related to the marks obtained by the 10 students in a class in a monthly test statistics the word statistics is used in a two different sense in the first sense if i talking about the plural sense the statistics means data the singular sense the statistics is the science which deals with the collections presentations analysis and interpretations of the some numerical data raw or uh, ungrouped data the data obtained in a original form is called a raw data or a ungrouped data clearly the data shown above is a raw data as we just discuss about the marks obtained by the 10 students of a class that is the ungrouped data group data for the sake of convenience we may condense the raw data into the classes or groups such a presentations is known a group data array an arrangement of the raw numerical data in a ascending or descending orders of a magnitude is called a array clearly an array of the above data may be obtained like this 12 17 17 21 26 26 30 30 and 41 and 45 ye wohi marks the jo just pehle maine abhi aapko example diya tha jisme maine marks obtained by the 10 students of the class in a monthly test ke bare mein discuss kiya tha उनको जस्ट एक प्रॉपर वे में अरेंज करना इसको बोलते हैं एरे टेबलेशन और प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द डेटा अरेंजिंग द डेटा इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेबल्स इन द कंडेंस फॉर्म इज नोन एज द टेबलेशन और प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द डेटा द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट इज द वेरिएबल अ क्वांटिटी अ क्वांटिटी व्हिच इज बीइंग मेजर्ड in an experiment or a survey is called a variable is called a variable 
If I say the age of the students in a class, monthly income of the people working in a office, the number of children in the families residing in a localities, etc., all are the example of the variables. Next thing that is the variate, the particular value, the particular value of the variable is called a variate. Next thing is an observations. Each and everything numerical figures in a data is called observations. Frequency. The number of times a particular observation occurs is called a frequency. The frequency distributions. The tabular arrangement of the data showing the frequency of each observation is called a frequency distribution. So here this is all are the terms which is related to the statistics. If it's clear, then let's discuss about the some problems which is related to the statistics. Let's discuss about the first sum. Arrange the following data as an array in an ascending orders as we just discussed about the definitions of an array that is the arrangement of the row numerical data in an ascending or descending orders of a magnitude is called a array so that means jaise ki main yahan pe dekh pa raha hu ki mujhe sabse pehle isko ascending ways mein convert karna hai so ascending that means small to big so as i can see that the 5 is the smallest one and 16 is the largest one so start with the 5 and then in a ascending ways that is 5 7 10 11 12 15 and a 16 next one 6.3 5.9 9.8 and we have to convert it in the ascending ways so once again start with the smallest one that is the 4.7 and in a last number that is the bigger one that is a 12.3 So start with the 4.7, then 4.6, then 4.9, and so on up to the 12.3. Okay, clear. The next thing that is the arrange the following data as in a survey in a descending ways. Descending ways that is the bigger to smaller. So here in the first example, as we can see that the five is a bigger one. So start with the five. Up to the the smallest one that is the zero. So last number that is the zero. So start with the five, four, three, three, two, two, one, and zero. Zero that is the two times. Okay. Next question: nine point one, three point seven, five point six. Here we can see that the eleven point five that is the bigger number. So eleven point five that is in the start. Starting with an eleven point five. And the smallest one that is a three point seven. The last one that is a three point seven. So ascending and descending ways that is done. The third question that is a construct the frequency table for the following data. So first, what we can do is we can arranging in a proper way. We can say convert it into the ascending ways, and then here we can see that. The number five. If I can see the number five, if I just count it, the number five that is here one, two, three, and four. So here, as I can see that the number five that is in a four times. So just you can write down the here number five, and then. In a frequency, you can say it's a four times. In the same ways, you have to count each and every numbers. If I can say number six, that is also in a four times. Number seven, that is three times. Number eight, nine, and ten. Number ten, that is in last three times. So you can just make it a one table. In the left hand sides, all the numbers we can write down, or in the right hand sides, we. Counted how many times the numbers are. If I can say number eight, it is a five times. So in a frequency, there is a five times. So there's a number of a particular times 
observation of cues is called a frequency as we can see in the definitions and in a sentence there is a tally marks the tally marks is generally write down in a this ways if i can say the number 5 is a four times so that means 1 2 3 and 4 if I say number 8, it's a 5 times. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, there is a cross. Okay? 4 to click na, 5th ko lo cross kar denge. So tally marks, as we can see that. In the same way, the number 2nd question that is done. 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 5. So here start with the 1. As I can see that a one there is uh, three times. So start with the one in a daily marks and in a frequency number of three times. If I can see the number two, that is the one, two, three, four, and five. Here we can see that the number two there is a five times. So number two in a frequency we write down the five. So it's a very simplest question we can solve a very easily question number four following are the marks obtained by the 30 students in an examination so here we can see the marks in taking the class intervals here we discuss about the class intervals just like you have to take para key to marks joe who start hore zero say like 50 tak. So we have already class interval given in so, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 40 to 50 as a marks lena. One thing that I will clear about that in a 0 to 10, in a 0 to 10, 0 it's called a lower limit and 10 it's called a upper limit. Whereas in 10 it's called a upper limit. Each and every time the lower limit and upper limit that will be the change. In the case of the 40 to 50. 40 is a lower limit, 50 is a upper limit. So in the left hand side, start with the class interval where we will start with the 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. So when I check, when I check the numbers in between the 0 to 10, there are the three numbers are there. That means three students ke marks, 0 to 10 ke beech mein hai. When I check 10 to 20, there are the seven students, seven students ke marks, 10 to 20 ke beech mein hai. And last, if I check 40 to 50, there are the five students. So that means we easily isko ek tables mein convert kar sakte hai. Thik hai? So the frequency tables yahan pe turn hai. Yahan pe class intervals given the Fifth question dikte. Construct the frequency distribution tables. Once again, wohi frequency distribution convert karna hai table mein. Jahan pe class interval change hai. 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 14 to 16 given it. 4 to 6, that means 4 is a lower limit, 6 is a upper limit. Marks be mere paas given it 11.5, 6.3. That means when you have a chick ka param, 4 to 6 me kon kon se numbers are they go 4.5 are he get 6 are 4.3 a 4.8 a 4.6 a. 5.5 है, 4.3 है, और 4.7 है. So if I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or the 7. So that means there are 7 numbers are there. There are 7 numbers are there in between the 4 to 6. In the same way, if I can 6 to 8 के बीच में, there are the 8 numbers are there. Or in 8 to 10 के बीच में, there are the 10 numbers are there. So, we will convert up to the 14 to 16. Tak usko convert karna hai. 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 14, and last 14 to 16. Then, total numbers of frequencies are only 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6. Karke. Yahan pe aap isko verify bhi kar sakte ho. Ki yahan pe jitne bhi numbers are wo dono equal hone chahiye. If I can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10 numbers first row mein hai. So that means 10 fours are 40 total numbers honge. So frequency ke totals count kar do, utne hi wo aayenge. Thikai? 
वो सिर्फ वेरीफाई करने के लिए है दैट मीन्स यहाँ से सब कुछ क्लियर हो चुका है कि कैसे हम लोग फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल में काउंट करने वाले हैं ठीक है ये यहाँ पे इंटरवल्स गिवन है उसी इंटरवल्स को यूज करके आपको सिर्फ मैंशन करना है क्वेश्चन सिक्स देखते हैं फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स लोअर क्लास लिमिट ऑफ द फिफ्टीन टू एटीन दैट इज द स्टार्टिंग से कहा था कि 15 टू 18 में लोअर लिमिट हो जाएगी 15 अगर यहाँ पे अपर लिमिट के बारे में बात होती है तो अपर लिमिट हो जाती 18 अपर क्लास लिमिट के बारे में बात कर रहा हूँ अपर क्लास लिमिट 24 टू 30 क्या हो जाएगी 30 ठीक है अपर क्लास लिमिट क्या हो जाएगी 30 हो जाएगी ठीक है अपर क्लास लिमिट फाइव टू ट्वेल्व तो ट्वेल्व जो होगी वो मेरी क्या हो जाएगी अपर क्लास लिमिट अगर यहाँ पे लोअर क्लास लिमिट के बारे में पूछता तो लोअर क्लास लिमिट मेरी फाइव हो जाती इफ द अपर एंड द लोअर लिमिट ऑफ द क्लास इंटरवल आर सिक्सटीन एंड टेन देन द क्लास इंटरवल इज क्लास इंटरवल कहाँ से कहाँ तक होता है हमेशा ऑलवेज लोअर लिमिट से अपर लिमिट यानी कि टेन टू सिक्सटीन ठीक है टेन टू सिक्सटीन इफ द लोअर लिमिट एंड द अपर लिमिट ऑफ द क्लास दैट इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एंड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव देन द क्लास इंटरवल आर So we all know that the class interval होता है always lower limit से upper limit तक यानी कि 7.5 से लेके कहाँ तक जाएगा 12.5 तक ठीक है 12.5 तक so that means यहाँ पे मैं अपना first part जो है statistics का हम लोग finish करते हैं second part में statistics को graphically represent कैसे करेंगे by using the pie chart and bar graph each and everything we will discuss in the second chart Stay tuned. Thank you.